last few months, we've followed the very talented Tomb Raider team through some of the most ambitious and innovative game development the industry has ever seen. In the next few days, they submit the final code for certification. If they pass, game ships on time and everyone gets a much deserved sleep. If they fail, well, let's not talk about that. I'm Zachary Levi, and these are the final, final hours of Tomb Raider. We've been around for 20 years at this point. Oh, wow. Yeah. In this industry, that's crazy. Yeah. 20 years of games, and many times we've, we've almost not made it, right? Through generation transitions, or you've have, had ups and downs in terms of games being released. And for us to still be here, making games and being competitive, it's amazing. Is this pretty typical for you guys to be in the last week and really all you've got left are these little bugs to yeah. do? Maybe it's uh, a few hundred still left to go. The team's cranking them out. You know, you're play testing it a lot. You're getting QA, uh, quality assurance yeah, quality to make sure, assurance, it's, yeah. uh, make sure it's clean. You know, stuff's coming in still as in like, hey, this crazy thing happened here. And simultaneously, IDOS Montreal yeah. Yeah. is doing what you're doing just with the multiplayer they are. Yeah, at the same time because, it. Yeah. because the multiplayer and the single player are being delivered yeah. at the at same, same time, time. Yeah, so it's a big team. Friday. Everybody's got to come together at the same time at the same moment and put pencils down and say they're done. Pencils mm -hmm. down. Done. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> C, C, C. <laughs> We're submitting in four days. Let me tell you now, we've had to move Brian Horton. He was art director. He moved over to my department uh, in Brian about a month ago. There was a morning that he woke up and they went, you've created a beautiful world. Now step aside. So my job is I'm working with a very talented team in the brand to make sure we, our screenshots are good, to make sure we have covers for magazines. Posters. To, to make sure we have posters. Stuff, right. There's a lot of materials, just like in a film, yeah. where when a film's done and in the can, yeah. you have to sell it to people. Yeah. You have to let them know what, what's cool about it. Yeah. Listen, I'm coming to get you. I'm going to get you out of there. I promise that. What's been great about this over the course of, of the entire process, you traveling around with us, is that we've been able to bring you the final hours of each of the pieces. Yeah. We've spent probably the last six months watching how the, the music's come to an end, and the right. voice acting has to be done. So each of our episodes up until now has really shown a side of the final hours of that particular person's role in the game, and now everything's come to a head where we're submitting the game this week. The guys are, are tirelessly working. You know, the guys have literally, at some cases, slept in the studio. <laughs> OK, so launch day, let's say you were at March 5th now. Where are you? What are you doing? Um, I'm probably in bed trying to get 12 hours sleep. <laughs> so, because more than likely, I would have been at some midnight opening the night before up till very late celebrating. So I'm probably, nice. at, this, at this time, of the day, I'm probably in bed. I think a lot of us won't even know what to do with ourselves. You get so heads down in something, and it's been a part of our lives for, for years now. And um, you sort of get to that point where waking up in the morning, you're thinking about the game and going to bed at night, you're thinking about the game. I'll try to sneak a little time here over the holidays, but then, you know, wait till the dust settles and we really get this in the hands of the consumers before I can really relax, I think. Even though I've played the game so many times, I cannot wait to take the cellophane off of that game. Yeah. Pop it in, yeah. it's the, it's it's the retail, yeah. it's the retail copy. Yeah. And there's something special about that printed disc, putting it into the system, and you're like, this is the same game that I worked on for three years plus. And, and everyone else can have the same experience that I'm gonna have right now. Yeah. Of all the taglines, whether they're actual dialogue in the game or marketing lines or whatever, something that would sum up your experience yeah. over the last four <laughs> years is a survivor is born. Yeah. A survivor is born in you, a survivor is born in Grizzle Dynamics. Yeah. We just wanted to be known as doing top tier work. There's games I look at and say, I wish I worked on that game. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I wanted Crystal to be that. And I think that with this one, we're going to do it. Yeah, anybody can make an explosion look beautiful and make a world look phenomenal. But we now move into a period of time where it's about having a connection with something which is much deeper than just saying, I have a controller in my hand and I'm guiding a character around and, and, uh, and fighting or solving puzzles. There's a depth in the story that we're trying to tell, which hopefully, for us, is going to be able to set that structure for the future. Hopefully, we've, we've taken the risk and we've been shouting so loud about this that we're actually carving what should be done. No! Oh, don't do this to me, you northern bastard. Are you excited? Are you nervous? I'm both excited and nervous. You know, because we've been, we've been masters of our own destiny up until this point, and, and now we're going to continue that right through to launch. And what's great is, is that from the very first presentation I gave with Daryl about here's the vision of the game, 
all the way through to the very first game sitting on a shelf on March 5th, we've been there for the ride. We've been on that journey. And then all of a sudden you reach March 5th and You're no longer there's millions of copies of your game yeah. out there and they're in people's hands. And you're thinking, like, how are they playing it? Are they having fun? What are they saying? What are they going to do? As soon as they put the controller down, what's the next thing for them? That they want what do you to tell want people? their response to be? I hope those people see that the story we've built and the foundation we've built is one that will last a long time. Doing something that's special is just incredibly tough. No matter what it is, you've got to really want it. You have to be passionate. You have to care about it. Everybody realizes that this is the game of their career, and everybody wants to put as much time and energy into this as possible. We have a, a studio full of passionate people who have put their lives into making this thing happen. This is not just a game that we're just going to ship on March 5th and people will go, great, I've got another game to my credits. This is one where the team are going to look back and go, that was a journey. It's been an honor to be able to, to work on, on Tomb Raider and long may I continue. I see this getting bigger and better over the next few years.